from the Penn Libraries. Our next presenter is Rashmi Kumar from the Weingarten Learning Resources Center. She's going to be talking about active learning and is not planning to use the screen. Yes. Right. So, so how many of you have heard the phrase active learning on the campus recently? Aha. Uh -huh. And it's kind of a conundrum where, you know, I am off technology but talking about active learning. Now, one of the fundamentals of active learning is that students learn by doing. And one of the key ways I see the differentiation between an instructor and a learner in most of the classroom is who asks the questions. Want to ask, say? The, the instructor. And who gives the answers? The students. the students. One of the ways that people are now bringing about, and the work has been done at Harvard, that if the students ask the questions and not the instructors, it's a great way for them to learn what they are looking at. And if a certain amount of content, a video, a t you know, anything is given to them, a podcast, encouraging students to develop a list of questions based on what they are seeing allows them to preview and understand the material from a very different aspect where they are delving into it and saying what am I looking at and what am I seeing and what, do, what sense do I make out of it. We, often in education um, there are two kinds of questions, closed-end questions and open-ended questions and encourage students to develop all of them regardless. After that What's a closed ask question? The one that answers with yes or no. Ask them to identify which ones have I asked that are closed-ended and which ones have I asked that are open-ended. And the next step would be to encourage the students to change the open-ended into closed-end and closed-end into open-ended. That process seems very benign. I tried it with a bit of skepticism However, I saw that many of my students experienced success. Thank you. Thank you.